Rebecca Vardy returned to the stand today for the second day of giving evidence in her libel case against Colleen Rooney. The long-anticipated battle between the two wags kicked off yesterday with claims, counterclaims and a sleazy account of a sexual encounter. Leicester star Jamie Vardy's wife, 40, who was dressed from head to toe in designer items, took to the witness box to be quizzed by Rooney's barrister David Sherborne QC, while Colleen and Wayne sat in the front row. Rebecca was asked about brutal messages she wrote to her agent Caroline Watt. The WAG denied leaking stories through exchanges with her agent about a married footballer fathering a secret baby, a well-known star's affair with a footballer and Leicester City teammates fuming with Riyad Mrez. Vardy said her texts with Caroline was just gossip and she had been shocked and discovered to see the celeb's affair with a footballer in the paper. The WAG did. However, admit she wanted the information about Danny Drinkwater's drink driver est in the public domain. In a social media post in October 2019, Mrs. Rooney said she had carried out a sting operation to catch Mrs. Vardy leaking false stories about her private life. She claimed an Instagram account behind three fake stories that appeared in the Sun newspaper was Mrs. Vardy's, sparking what became known as the Wagatha Christie saga. 17 Poland 16 Catherine Heslop who are Mrs. F, Mr. H and Mr. G. The text messages brought up in court today referred to a Mrs. F, a Mr. H and a Mr. G. All three are allegedly involved in a celebrity love triangle and Colleen's lawyer claims that Vardy tried to leak this to the press. However Rebecca said in court today she was just joking when she suggested leaking the story to her PR agent, in a message read out by Mr. Sherborne in court. The celebrities involved in the love triangle have been given pseudonyms to protect their anonymity, but some details of their identities were revealed in court. Here's what we know. https colon slash slash www. Mirror.co.uk slash 3M slash celebrity news slash Rebecca Vardy trial who misses 269373551 colon 37 Catherine Heslop alarm ends hearing Mr. Sherborne is asking about the circumstances surrounding a photo of wags taken outside a restaurant in St. Petersburg, Russia, during the 2018 World Cup. The day before what messaged Vardy saying, Got a photographer sorted for tomorrow night too. Mr. Sherborne said an FA representative has made a witness statement saying older members of the England party, mums of players, were not happy that they were not invited to the dinner. The hearing has been brought to a premature end by a fire alarm heard outside the courtroom. Mrs. Vardy is due to finish her evidence early tomorrow afternoon. The case will resume at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. 16 Poland 13 Catherine Heslop Vardy offered to set reporter up on a date David Sherborne reads out a message exchange between Vardy and a journalist who interviewed her after she came out of the Emma celebrity jungle. In them Vardy suggests they meet for lunch and offers to set up the reporter with a date. In her witness statement Vardy said, I do not have close relationships with any journalists. Asked if her statement was false Vardy replied she did not have a close relationship with the journalist. Sherborne said Vardy had also posed for a photo shoot in her lingerie with a snake and in the street in her smalls. 15 colon 50 Connie Rusk Rebecca hits back at suggestion she provided numerous exclusives to the Sun Rebecca has rejected the suggestion she was building a relationship with the Sun with numerous exclusives. David Sherborne put to her she had been consistently giving stories to the paper. He said, this is the relationship you are building up with the Sun. 
You are consistently providing stories. Mrs. Vardy said, I'm working with the Sun because they are going to print the story. They are going to give me the opportunity to give my story. 15 colon 38 Connie Rusk Rebecca breaks down in tears when asked about trolling she received after Colleen's bombshell claims Rebecca started to cry in the witness box at the start of questions about some of the abuse she and her family have received. The WAG was shown an article in which she discusses internet. It featured a photo of all the insults she has been called scrawled on her naked back. The TV personality was asked by Mrs. Justice Stein whether she would like a break. I'm not going to take you through the trolling, David Sherborne said. Asked again a few moments later if she would like a break, she replied, I don't think it's going to make any difference, to be honest. 15 colon 33 Connie Rusk Vardy says photo shoots were so she didn't have to rely on my husband's money Mr. Sherborne produced more articles showing Vardy posing with her new baby and stripping down to her bikini on a beach holiday. Vardy told the court it was important for me to be able to earn my own money. I never want to rely on my husband. Jamie and I discussed it and there was no problem doing that, she added. 15 colon 14 Connie Rusk Vardy says she set up her maternity hospital photos Mr. Sherborne later discussed an interview Mrs. Vardy had given to The Sun in December 2016 while she was pregnant with her daughter Olivia Grace. After Rebecca initially said she did not remember the article, Mr. Sherborne held up one of the photos used in the exclusive piece, adding, You think you might recall these rather large images of you naked in a national newspaper. They were our own images that Wed had taken, she said. It was written by the same journalist who penned Verdi's article about Peter Andre's tiny manhood. Vardy admitted photos of her leaving a maternity hospital after giving birth were set up. I have never hidden the fact I have done staged pictures, she said. I just gave permission for a photographer to be there. I wanted to control it, Sherborne asked if it would have been more honest to have sat down and posed for photos rather than stage them. Vardy replied, it just given birth. I'm not sure I was in any position to sit down. 15 colon 00 Connie Rusk Colleen's barrister says Vardy tried to sit next to her at match to boost profile before Euro 2016, Sherborne said the FA wanted WAGs to be low profile following their headline grabbing party antics at the 2006 World Cup in Baden-Baden. He said a member of FA staff had given a witness statement saying they planned to split up WAGs in stadiums to reduce photo opportunities. But Sherborne said Vardy ended up sitting behind Colleen in the crowd for the match against Wales, claiming it was a ploy to boost her public profile. Vardy told the court, that's ridiculous, that's not the case at all. Sherborne suggested the WAG had been told by photographers if she sat behind Rooney she would be guaranteed publicity. Rebecca denied the allegations. Vardy claims in her witness statement she sat there because the Rooneys were sitting in her seats. Mr. Sherborne said an FA representative will give evidence that says that is not true. 14 colon 38 Connie Rusk Rebecca says she hired PR agent in 2016 to get my truth across after the court lunch break, Rebecca has faced questions about first meeting her agent Caroline Watt in 2016, who was working for a PR agency called Frontrow Partnership. David Sherborne put it to the wag that Ms. Watt approached her because she thought you were getting unfavorable coverage in the press and she offered you a way to get better coverage. 
Mrs. Vardy said, she offered me a way to tell me side of the story because there was so much negative press. She explained Ms. Watt suggested she do some interviews to get my truth across. 14 28 Connie Rusk Why isn't Jamie joining Rebecca in court? Rebecca was seen making her way into the court without her husband Jamie. It is thought Jamie's absence was due to the fact he is training ahead of an upcoming football game where his team Leicester will play against Norwich at home. Despite the fact he wasn't there for support, Rebecca looked determined as ever as she entered the building. 13 colon 56 Connie Rusk Rebecca says Danielle Lloyd isn't in my circle Rebecca said she was referring to model Danielle Lloyd, her Maldives honeymoon and miscarriage in another message exchange with her agent. Mr. Sherborne said in August 2019 Mrs. Vardy told Ms. Watt to leak the Maldives stuff in relation to what he labeled the pregnant girl leak. Rebecca claimed her message related to a screenshotted article in a magazine about Ms. Lloyd talking about her Maldives honeymoon and her unfortunate miscarriage. She said Ms. Lloyd was not someone in my circle, and said she disagreed with her about gender selection. Danielle had previously spoke about how she would have had controversial gender selection treatment if her fifth child had been another boy. The former glamour model welcomed a daughter last November. 13 49 Connie Rusk recap biggest bombshells so far today Day 2 of the trial saw Rebecca, who was dressed head to toe in designer garb, the first to give evidence as Colleen and Wayne sat just 15 feet away on the front row. She was quizzed over brutal messages she wrote to her agent Caroline Watt by Colleen's barrister David Sherborne QC. Rebecca denied leaking stories through exchanges with her agent about a married footballer fathering a secret baby, a well-known star's affair with a footballer and Leicester City teammates fuming with Riyad Mrez. Vardy said her texts with Caroline was just gossip and she had been shocked and discovered to see the well-known celebs affair with a footballer in the paper. The WAD did, however, admit she wanted the information about Danny Drinkwater's drink driver est in the public domain. It was something terrible, she said. I'm deeply affected by drink driving. My ex-husband killed two people during our marriage. I didn't care if the information came out. 13 39 Connie Rusk lunch break The court appears to have taken a break for lunch 13 17 Connie Rusk Verdi's agent called Colleen attention seeking after viewing false gender selection story Rebecca's agent Caroline called Colleen an attention seeker in a WhatsApp message to Vardy after viewing her posts through her Instagram account, the High Court heard. Reading the message, Mr. Sherborne said, how much of an attention seeker is Colleen? No press of her post about gender selection so now she starts posting that she's in Mexico in the hopes someone notices. When the barrister suggested it was clear from the message that Ms. Watt was in Mrs. Vardy's account, Mrs. Vardy said, that's correct, yes. 13 colon 01 Connie Rusk Vardy tells court she directed agent to Colleen's Insta after car crash Vardy said in court she had directed her agent to look at Colleen's private Instagram in relation a post she made on a car crash. In a January 2019 exchange, Ms. Watt asked her, am I imagining this or did you say yesterday that Colleen had crashed her Honda? The court heard. She defo has, go in the Instagram, Mrs. Vardy replied, according to court documents. Mr. Sherborne highlighted that on the first day of the trial Mrs. Vardy had agreed it would have been wrong if Ms. Watt was looking at people's private Instagram accounts through the use of Mrs. Vardy's account. He put it to Mrs. Vardy that, 
In this instance, she was directing her agent to Mrs. Rooney's Instagram. Yes, I am, Mrs. Vardy said. 12 36 Connie Rusk Colleen's lawyer claims Vardy lied in witness statement Sherborne claimed Vardy lied in her witness statement when she said her WhatsApp conversations with Watt about leaking stories were never serious and Watt would have known that. In Mrs. Vardy's witness statement, the TV personality said, I have sometimes been caught up in the heat of the moment during conversations with Caroline where I have talked about leaks and payment, but these conversations were never serious, and Caroline would have understood that. I have never been paid for private information about anybody apart from myself or my family. Addressing this, Mr. Sherborne asked Mrs. Vardy whether she still stood by that evidence, to which she replied, yes, apart from the Danny Drinkwater one. Sherborne then asked the wag, you are prepared to lie under oath, aren't you? Vardy replied, no. 12 colon 14 Connie Rusk Rebecca told agent she wanted paying for Danny Drinkwater's story Rebecca told her agent she wanted paying for information about Danny Drinkwater leaving police custody after crashing his car, the high court heard. Sherborne read out a text exchange between Vardy and Caroline about footballer Danny. She had messaged Caroline, story. Danny Drinkwater arrested. Watt messaged back, for what? Vardy then wrote, crashed his car drunk with two girls in it. Both in hospital with two broken ribs. He has been only just let out of the cells. I want paying for this. The court was told that Ms. Watt informed Mrs. Vardy that someone had already leaked information from a police station, to which Mrs. Vardy responded Fuck someone already tipped it and also messaged, I'm fuming I didn't give it to you earlier. Mr. Sherborne suggested Mrs. Vardy was angry about the fact that you're not going to get your money. No, that's not true, she replied. She earlier told the court, when I said I want paying for this, it's a fleeting comment and something I probably considered at the time, but that was it. Mr. Sherborne asked Rebecca why she was fuming about not giving information to her agent earlier. I don't know, she replied. 11 colon 59 Connie Rusk Rebecca denies she leaked story about married footballer having an affair Sherborne went on to ask Vardy about messages to her agent over a story about a married footballer Mr. X who had an affair with a woman who fell pregnant and had to tell his wife. Colleen's barrister claimed Vardy messaged Watt telling her not to give a showbiz journalist information about Mr. X until her agent knew he wasn't a grass and would reveal her as a source. Sherborne said a story later appeared in the same national newspaper revealing the married England footballer had been forced to tell his wife he had secretly fathered a love child. Vardy denied the allegations and said, no. That's not true. 11 colon 44 Connie Rusk well-known star named as Mrs. F wasn't shy about cheating, Vardy tells court Rebecca claims she heard about the alleged cheating from well-known celebrity Mrs. F, who she said was wasn't very shy about having an affair. Colleen's lawyer told the court about the messages Vardy sent to her agent on September 5, 2018. Vardy wrote, Ong um, have you seen how badly Mrs. F is behaving? Leak the story about her SGG behind H's back. Watt replied she had tried before but a national newspaper she tipped off had not run it because they could not prove it. Vardy had replied, Ugh. The wag told Sherborne she and Watt were old friends and their messages were often outrageous and totally inappropriate. She added footballer Mr. G was an acquaintance rather than a friend. 
Sherborne asked where she got the information about the affair. Vardy said, Mrs. F herself. She was not very shy about what was happening at all. 11 21 Connie Rusk Vardy shocked and disgusted when she saw story in paper after joking to leak it with agent Rebecca has said she was shocked and disgusted to see a story about a woman allegedly cheating on her husband in the paper, after joking with her agent Caroline to leak it. Mr. Sherborne questioned her about what she said in reference to a story about a woman named only as Mrs. F, a well-known celebrity, her estranged husband Mr. H and Mr. G, a well-known footballer. The WAG told her agent she should leak the story about her SGG behind H's back, Mr. Sherborne said. Mrs. Vardy said she was just joking in the text exchange and so was a bit shocked and a bit disgusted about what I'd seen in the paper. Mr. Sherborne asked whether she was so annoyed she had instructed Ms. Watt to leak a story about Mrs. F allegedly cheating. That's the way it reads, she replied, adding, again, in context, bits of information mixed in with other bits of information. I was actually just joking about that one. 11 06 Connie Rusk Vardy denies leaking Lester F.C. Furious with Riyadh's story Colleen's lawyer Mr. Sherborne went on to say an exclusive story then appeared in a national newspaper saying Mrs. had not turned up to training and his Lester teammates have turned on the wanted way forward and are thought to feel betrayed by his behavior. Mr. Sherborne said every other newspaper only reported the club's response without the suggestion the players were angry with Mrs. He accused Vardy of being responsible for the leak. The WAG vehemently denied the claims and replied, This has absolutely nothing to do me. I absolutely know 100% that story did not come from me or Caroline Watt. It was already out there. Sherborne said we will never know what actually happened because Watt's phone sits at the bottom of the North Sea. 10 59 Connie Rusk Vardy admits exchange with agent over footballer Riyad Mrez doesn't read very well Vardy admits her text exchange with her agent Caroline Watt over Leicester City footballer Riyad Mrez not coming to training doesn't read very well. The WAG said she did not know whether or not her husband's then-teammates were fuming about Riyadh not turning up for training. It was probably something I was plucking from thin air. It was just a gossip that was all, she told the court. She also said, it was a speculation of bits of information that I've heard and overheard, and also they had been in the press before. The court heard her agent asked if the fuming claim should be passed on to a Sky Sports reporter, but Mrs. Vardy said he was not told. She added her husband never discussed whether the lads were fuming. 10 48 Connie Rusk Vardy says she was just gossiping when talking to agent Vardy has told the high court she was just gossiping when messaging her agent about the failure of one of her husband's then teammates to come to training in 2018. Colleen's barrister David Sherborne read a message from Rebecca to Caroline Watt about then Leicester City footballer Riyad Mrez not coming to training, telling Ms. Watt the lads are fuming. Mrs. Vardy said, it was speculation of just bits of information that I had heard and overheard, and also read in the press before. She added, yes, it doesn't look good there, I was gossiping about things that we already in the public domain. I was just gossiping. 10 39 Connie Rusk Rebecca has taken to the stand Rebecca has taken to the stand to continue her testimony today. She began to testify after 4 p.m. on Tuesday, and will be cross-examined by Colleen's barrister. 
Colleen and Dwayne are sitting on the front row, just 15 feet away from Vardy. 10 colon 34 Connie Rusk Colleen is supported by husband Dwayne as she arrives Colleen Rooney was again joined by her husband, former England footballer Wayne, 36, as she arrived at the High Court in London. She wore a white and black pattern mini dress and one Chanel loafer, while her left foot was still in a brace. The exact cause of her injury is unknown, but Colleen had been pictured hobbling around on crutches in the weeks prior to the case. Wayne, meanwhile, while a long navy jacket atop of a pale blue shirt and tie, 10.15 Connie Rusk Rebecca Vardy arrives for the second day Rebecca Vardy turned heads as she arrived for the second day of the wag at the Christie case. Sporting a slicked back ponytail, the wag was dressed head to toe in designer as she hid behind a pair of YSL sunglasses. She added to her look with a Givenchy bag and accessorized with a pair of diamond earrings. Cutting a sophisticated figure in a structured Balmain blazer, black polo neck, Vardy strutted into the high court in a pair of patent black jemmy shoes. She was flanked by security and appeared undeterred by the crowd that had gathered. 10 Poland 07 Connie Rusk How much could the legal fees cost? The court has heard how both wags have spent hundreds of thousands of pounds so far. Details of the costs and budgets for the case were previously revealed during a preliminary session in March, with Judge Roger Eastman describing both as extraordinarily large. In Verdi's written skeleton argument, submitted to the court, her barrister Sarah Mansuri said the WAG's budget was £897,000, the estimated costs of which are £465,842. This compares to Mrs Rooney's estimated costs in her cost budget of £402,312. 09.53 Connie Rusk who has given evidence so far? Rebecca went into the witness box just before 4 p.m. on Tuesday, telling the court, I have been called a leaker and it's not nice. She is expected to take to the stand again today. Shortly after questioning whether Vardy respected people's privacy, Colleen's barrister David Sherborne asked her about an interview she gave her about a sexual encounter with singer Peter Andre. Mr. Sherborne showed what appeared to be a EH3 printout of the article to Mrs. Vardy in the witness box before reading the headline, Peter's hung like a small chipolata, shaved, slobbery, lasts five minutes. However, Rebecca said that she was forced into a situation by my ex-husband to do the interview. Mr. Sherborne later asked, did you feel particularly strongly about the size of his manhood that it should be made public? She replied, it was something that I was forced to say. 09.22 Connie Rusk background to the case Rebecca Vardy, 40, is suing Colleen Rooney, 36 for libel claiming she wrongly publicly outed her as the snitch who had leaked details of her private life. In a trap straight out of a whodunit mum of four Rooney posted three fake tales on her private Instagram stories account, and blocked all followers except Rebecca from seeing them. When the bogus stories were published Colleen revealed the source of the leak on social media in dramatic style, announcing, it's Rebecca Verdi's account. The sting earned Colleen the nickname Wagatha Christie. Rebecca denies the allegations and wants damages and a restraining order to prevent Colleen repeating the allegation. The court has heard how both women have spent hundreds of thousands of pounds so far. 09 09.03 Connie Rusk Colleen was upset and paranoid by leak, day one recap meanwhile, 
Colleen's lawyer David Sherborne said the WAG was upset and paranoid by the leaking of information from her private Instagram account on Tuesday, day one of the trial. He said the mother of four only allowed people to access it she trusted and had allowed Vardy access. The information she posted on it was private and she did not want to see it in a newspaper, he added. Mr. Sherborne said the leak showed a lack of respect for Rooney's privacy. He added Vardy now has to say as she has now that it may have been, her former agent, Caroline Watt who was responsible. Colleen's lawyer claimed Vardy directed Watt to Rooney's account, urged her to constantly monitor it and instructed her to leak information. Rebecca denies all allegations, 